President Barack Obama and Pentagon officials unveiled a proposal this morning to shift the U.S. defense strategy over the next decade. Though the details won't be finalized for another few weeks, the plan is designed to save more than a trillion dollars and move away from long-term, on-the-ground occupations. But anti-war activists and national security experts are concerned about increased drone warfare, the planned build-up in the Pacific, and the unchecked increase of private defense contractors. FSRN's Alice Olstein reports from Washington. Flanked by his chiefs of staff and several Pentagon officials, President Obama described his vision for the future of the U.S. military. As we look beyond the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the end of long-term nation building with large military footprints. We'll be able to ensure our security with smaller conventional ground forces. We'll continue to get rid of outdated Cold War era systems so that we can invest in the capabilities that we need for the future, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, counterterrorism, countering weapons of mass destruction, and the ability to operate in environments where adversaries try to deny us access. But while the U.S. draws down some war zones, it's building up its presence elsewhere, including in Asia and the Pacific. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said the U.S. will also generously fund NATO, increase military-to-military partnerships in Latin America and Africa, and invest heavily in technology, including unmanned systems or drones. Without revealing concrete budget figures or troop reductions, Panetta described a leaner military. And while he expressed support for the general plan, he spoke out against too deeply cutting the military budget, saying it would lead to a, quote, hollow and demoralized army. Many Republican lawmakers, candidates, and officials are also blasting the president for vowing to enforce the nearly $490 billion in automatic cuts triggered by the Congressional Super Committee's failure to agree on a deficit reduction plan. But in his speech, Obama assured his critics that military spending will still be plentiful. Uh, I think it's important for all Americans to remember, over the past 10 years, since 9-11, our defense budget grew at an extraordinary pace. Over the next 10 years, the growth in the defense budget will slow, but the fact of the matter is this, it will still grow, because we have global responsibilities that demand our leadership. In fact, the defense budget will still be larger than it was toward the end of the Bush administration. Many anti-war activists, including Medea Benjamin with Code Pink, says the proposed cuts aren't nearly enough. The amount of money that we are continuing to spend on the Pentagon jeopardizes the other needs here at home for things like uh, education and health care and all of those issues that we should consider as part of our national security. Benjamin is also concerned about the new plan's support for the use of military drones, which have been used in Libya, Somalia, Yemen, and in Pakistan, where strikes have killed numerous civilians. These are not as precise a weapon as we are being led to believe. Benjamin also says the use of drones in countries where we haven't officially declared war violates international law. Meanwhile, neither the president nor Secretary Panetta mentioned private contractors in today's strategy announcement, which National Security fellow Ben Freeman with the Project on Government Oversight says came as a bit of a shock. Tens of billions of dollars, we can confirm, were lost in Iraq and Afghanistan. And if we can get that back, man, we can give a lot more back to our troops or get the right equipment we need, you know, give them the right health care. Just frustrating. In their investigation earlier this year, the Commission on Wartime Contracting found that up to 20 percent of money going to contractors in Iraq and Afghanistan is wasted, while an additional 9 percent is eaten up by fraud. The Commission estimated that about 12 million taxpayer dollars go down the drain every day due to theft, bribes, and mismanagement. Freeman says major reforms are needed to prevent more money being lost in the future. You need a lot more contractor accountability. In some cases, you have uh, you have contractors overseeing other contracts, and you, you know it really is like the fox guarding the hen house. Though the announcement Thursday gave an idea of the president's plan for the military budget looking ahead, it will still be up to Congress to decide how much each program receives each year. Alice Olstein, FSRN, Washington.